Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your June 2020 mid-month tarot check. This is for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I just want to thank all of you. I hope you're all well, but I want to thank you for supporting the channel, watching the readings, commenting, liking, subscribing. I really appreciate that. And it has been really a remarkable experience for me. I've had this gift my whole life, but and I've been doing this a long time. I, I had no idea how much doing these readings would really open up my own energy portal. I did not realize that reading this frequently for this many people would really change and develop a skill um, that I've had so long. So thank you for that. And if you're new around here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you don't like notifications, I post pretty much every week, okay? So you can just check back and... Uh, Typically towards the weekends, Thursday, Friday are days that I'll post. Let's get some guidance here. Guidance, please, for Scorpio. Guidance for Scorpio. All right. All right, this is for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, your current situation, you've got the Hermit, so that's Virgo energy, with the Nine of Wands. And the Destiny here, you have the Star card, Aquarius energy. In the distant past, you have the Four of Swords. In the more recent past, you've got Strength. Coming towards you, you have the Empress. You're represented here by the Fool. Wow, you got the Fool and then the Magician. That's pretty cool. Um, the person around you is the Magician. You've got the Ten of Swords as your hopes and fears. And the Queen of Pentacles um, is the outcome. In the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Swords. So, interesting reading for you guys. Um, you know, right off the bat, it you definitely feels like you've got a new beginning. So, for some of you, it feels like new love coming in. And there's just some fear around it. Like, you don't want it to be the same old thing as before. Um, some of you could, so it could certainly be with a, a Virgo, a Leo, Leo uh, an Aquarius, or um, could be another air sign, so Gemini, or, or excuse me, not another, it could be an air sign. Gemini, uh, well, I guess Aquarius, I already said, and then Libra. Um, so you've got the Hermit card here, and the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands... You know, he's been psychically wounded, okay? He's got a wound there, and that bandage around the head is more about an emotional wound even than a, a physical wound, but he's definitely the wounded warrior here. And the hermit is a shaman. The hermit is here telling you you're on the right path, even though somebody here has really been through it. It is clear that um, you're being div you divinely guided towards something better, so... For some of you, you may have had a really nasty breakup or ending in some way, even possibly some of you might have lost your job and that was r really turned you upside down um, and it just made things hard, you know, it was like this, well, I'm not here to suffer, I'm not here to struggle, come on now universe, work with me, um, but this is definitely about going within and the hermit disconnects from society but not humanity okay the hermit just quiets things down so you can get your bearings again get re-engaged get renewed um, and especially with the star card so the star card comes after a crisis it's all about renewal um, it certainly can be a cleansing like on the more mundane level it can definitely be about being at a spa and that sort of thing but it's wish fulfillment, that's your destiny. You know, so be clear about what you want. If it's, you know, a career that you really want, you've got all the potential here because you're the fool and then you've got the magician around you. Um, if, it's, if it's more about a relationship and you have, you know, you've got love in your heart that just hasn't been connected in the right way, the universe wants to bring that into you. Um, but there's freedom here. You know, I hear the word resurrection. It's like after this tower movement comes in the star card to help rebuild, renew, and revitalize. And um, so it's definitely a time to 
even reinvent who you are, who you thought you were becoming. It's never too late to change. I get that phrase coming in. It's never too late to change. Um, so in the distant past, you have this four of swords. And I do feel like some of you were wounded and just needed to take a break, needed to go and check out and just be quieted, be have be still and know. Um, and, and some of you, it may have been during the pandemic that you were just isolated anyway, and that time was important. That time was an important time to disengage somewhat from the rat race, from the hustle and bustle, quiet down, and really get connected. Because Scorpio is such a, it's a psychic sign. It's a, a sign of the intuitive, of the psychic. And sometimes when we're so mired down by the day-to-day -day busyness, we start to have a hard time keeping that circuitry open and we'll even do things like you know drink to excess and do other things to excess to quiet the circuitry jam the circuitry so it's not as emotionally draining um, in the more recent past you have the the strength card and this can be about repressed emotion so for some of you you may have gone through a time where you were being strong for people around you and really wanting to like have a primal scream. You know, it was like driving, somebody's driving and screaming in their car because they don't want anyone to know how just, you know, they've got all this anxiety and just overwhelm and they're trying to get through things and not, you know, not turn into a puddle. And you did it, you know, also to be aware of this. You've got the infinity sign here twice, okay? Very important when we're reading cards to really look at the cards and how similar these are too, by the way, with the yellow background and this, there's some similarities with the floral in her dress and the floral that drapes down on the magician. So be aware of that. Um, so you have coming towards you a lot of new stuff. You've got new growth here. So if money has been rocky, you've got new opportunities coming in. Um, but in terms of a relationship, there's wonderful chemistry coming towards you. Um, this is a very nurturing person. They're, the Empress is ruled by Venus, is ruled by love. So very, very deep love in possible possibility here with this relationship. It's somebody who is unconditional, but they're also interested in a commitment. They're interested in the long term. They're not looking to play games. They're not looking to date multiple people at once. This person may want a family, so be aware of that if that's not for you. It feels very much like it is. But they they really have, I get the phrase, give the shirt off of their back. They've really got the best interest of other people in mind. So whoever this is, they are very, very they're magnanimous. They give and give and they don't complain. This is not a martyr. This is somebody who gives because they're just that way. Um, I, very beautiful energy coming towards you. So you're interested here. You've got the fool in uh, taking a leap of faith. Okay. Take that leap of faith. It's telling you to. Now the fool has a wand. Um, and as does the magician, but the fool carries his experiences kind of slung over his shoulder. So what this tells you when you see the fool is past experiences don't need to be a burden to you. He's very got them very lightly just slung over his shoulder. He doesn't let them own him. So if some things have happened in your life that have been sad for you, it's okay to put that down. You know, it doesn't have to define you. And sometimes things happen to you, but not because of you, okay? They're not because you did something wrong. And that's the one thing about the law of attraction that I think can really be damaging is, yes, we create our own reality, but we have to be careful not to blame ourselves when things happen that we don't like. Don't be too hard on yourself because there's purity in this card. The white rose is about purity and openness and... Um, there is a little bit of impulsivity here, but it really is about moving forward, taking a leaf of faith, and it's also with the zero, infinite potential. Okay, the zero is all about infinite potential. And around you here, you've got the magician. So this person may be manifesting a relationship, whether they're doing it deliberately or not. 
and they bring a lot to the table. This person is the whole enchilada, complete package. They are smart, they are sexy, they are loving, they are kind, they are financially stable, they're fit, they're athletic. This person feels tall to me. Um, it just is very, they're physically very attractive person. And they're here because you're worthy of it. They are going to show up because you are definitely worthy of this type of connection. So your fear is heartache and, you know, f being stabbed in the back, certainly. Um, this 10, though, is about a change. And so it's time to put that down. It's like the fool with his bag of experiences that he just hangs over his shoulder without a care in the world. Okay, it's time to detach from some of those because it brings in pain that's not necessary. It brings in an element of heaviness. Um, so, and, and really with who you're attracting and bringing forward, it really is not um, something that you need to be concerned about. So you've got, in the outcome, you've got a brand new opportunity, um, clarity, and you also have a you know, a, a time of great abundance, stability. Um, there's definitely love here. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is, um, she's a very attractive energy, but also very humble, okay? So I don't feel like if you've had in the past relationships where there was competition between the two of you, I don't get that at all. This is somebody who really uplifts others and they see the good in others they want to, they're not showy, like they would never want to be necessarily even the center of attention. I think I said it earlier, give the shirt off their back. It's that kind of energy. Um, but it's definitely a new beginning. And I think the communication is going to be really good in this relationship. Now, some of you, it may be begin with internet stuff where there's like texting, emails, messaging, that kind of thing. It may begin that way. Um, and that's fine too. You know, it's kind of a fun little um, exciting thing to have this new person who comes in and that's, you know, you look forward to picking up your phone and seeing a message, but there's definitely a, there's definitely a foundation here and, but it's magical. You know, it's not boring. There's a, there's a sort of a mystical feeling about this. Like there's some kind of divine guidance or pull, energetic pull, like you've been related in past lives, your soulmates, you're supposed to be together. Um, so for those of you that are looking to attract more love in your life, here is an oracle card to do just that. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. Now, when I was reading that, I got a vision of a guitar pick. I don't know why, I don't know who that's for, but I like to offer it because I feel like it's for somebody. There's a guitar pick or something. Um, and we'll close with Abraham Hicks asking it is given, but what about those innocent little babies? Even your babies are offering vibrations that the universe is matching. And like you, your little ones are influenced by the vibration of those who surround them. But nevertheless, they are creating their own reality and like you, Long before their physical birth, they set into motion this life experience they are now living. So, you know, everyone has a vibration. Everyone has a frequency. So if you have not been meeting people, all you have to do is really look around you at love, examples of love. You know, even if it's not your relationship looking and knowing there's an example of love the universe is sending me to show me love can happen so um you can definitely bring it forward you've got all the right energies and elements around you so i love you so much scorpio and i'll be back again soon